4 o'clock in the morning and uh, we're going hiking today to the Rainbow Mountain. It's so early and cold and dark, but yeah, looking forward. And we're going to the car till the edge of the mountain and we're going to climb it, walking everything upstairs uh, till the top. Sun is coming out in a few minutes. It's so freezing. The sun rised, it's so cold. Got some coffee here. The view is beautiful. Check it out. We're at 4,000 meters above sea level. We're waiting for our horses to climb back there to the Rainbow Mountain. Check it out, there's snow mountains back there. I'm so excited, it's so cold. Give me time lapse like the sun is rising. Cute little dog. Hola. Hola, buenos Hola. días. Beautiful. So we're gonna, go, gonna we're waiting for our. We have to walk till there, and there we get our horses to go in, even more back into the mountains. I'm so excited. Let's go. Incredibly beautiful and it's freaking cold. <laughs> so beautiful. Places like this want me to never leave again. They're so magical and untouched. This is what I love about it. So high as well here. So, oh my god. You might think I'm a pussy, but breathing at 4,000 meters is really hard. You have to walk really slow. Oh my god. It's so nice. Look at this. Wow. The llamas are coming. The snow mountain back there is Osangate and there we're, the direction we're walking is um, the rainbow mountain is so amazing you're gonna see it later on look at all the llamas chilling so cool found some new friends over here What's up? These guys are walking barefoot and it's fucking freezing. Almost there, doing a little break here. So beautiful this place. You can feel the energy here, it's really crazy. And then now we're going to the horses. The sun is coming out, it's getting warmer now. So, yeah. More shit. What I love about this place is they're, they're so untouched. We're almost no tourists. I mean, there is some, of course. Um, but almost nothing. 
people here are so kind, so nice. And uh, yeah, look everywhere, fresh water coming out of the mountains. We're almost there. There, passing this thing. There are the horses waiting for us. And actually, I have to admit, I'm kind of scared of horses. I don't know why. So let's see how this is gonna work. Um, I mean, they're not huge like in Europe. They're more kind of a mix between horses and donkeys. But still, I'm a little, I have some respect for them and I'm a little afraid. So yeah. Oh my god, talking and walking is so hard. I feel like Stephen Hawking. <sighs> oh my god. So nice. Ah. I'm sure you can see all my fucking nose running. make it and I had to I did some amazing photos I'm gonna show you but um yeah I forgot to eat breakfast because we had to get up at three and now I can feel it I hope up there's something to eat look these they're walking like it's nothing. Walking this every day. Have my big lens here. My tripod. All my gear with me. I'm gonna fly the drone later as well. It's fucking crazy. We arrived at the top. That was the first one. My other friends are coming. I'm now getting on the horse. Let's see how it works out. I'm kinda scared. Which one is gonna be my horse? I hope it's gonna be nice. So meta peruano meta suizo. Sí. Solo que ahí en ese pie no estoy bien metido. Ahí sí, ahí perfecto. ¿Lo va a bajar un poquito más? Sí, tal vez bajar un poco. Primero de abajo, ¿no? I feel so uncomfortable. Bueno, acá como podemos ver, Morris tiene el caballo con turbo. Sí, con caballo con turbo. Se llama Farruco. Farruco. ¿Y cómo se llaman ustedes? Yo me llamo Domingo. ¿Y tú? Zorro. Zorro. ¿Ha visto? ¿Y tú? Cayer. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Ah, ya. Caballo? Pregúntale. El caballo, ¿Y el caballo? El caballo es el on the horse now for two hours. All the way back there. So funny, there was like a passport control, so this is where we had to get off of the horse, but now we're gonna keep going with the horse. Yeah. This is what I call being fit. It's really mind blowing. They're speaking the native language of Peru, which is Quechua. I don't understand nothing, but it's such an interesting language. Fucking 
I'm dying. Get no air. También. Gracias. But let me tell you, we're now at 5.5, 5, 5,500 meters. The air is so thin. Even if you're walking in a normal speed, you feel like you're running. This is what I call an experience. Live life and go out there and do something about it. We have to go all up there to the back. It's behind that mountain there. So I'm really glad we have uh, some nice horses because uh, otherwise I would die, I think. Literally, the hardest thing I've ever done. We're at like five, seven now. Fuck me. The air is so thin. But I think the, the view is gonna be totally worth it. I have huge respect for this guy. He walks everything up there. That's fucking crazy. Look at this view. It's fucking beautiful here. It was the best thing I did in my life. As you can see, the horse dropped us here, which means final de caballos means end for the horses. We have to go up there, here, to walk all this thing. Look at that view. Look at that view. There is snow mountains in the back. That's fucking crazy. Let's fucking do this. Look at that view. Soon arriving on the top. Fucking dying. Look at all these colors. I'm literally on fucking limits. It's gonna be so worth it. So I'm walking back now since like two hours, three hours. I was charging my phone because it died. Finally arrived and this is the best rain I was ever feeling. It feels so good. Yeah. Oh my God. This was such a nice day.